Good morning everyone. It is a cold morning up in the Golden Triangle right now. But yeah, I've come out. King's uh, birthday, long weekend, so I thought I'd just get out for a little detect today just before I go back to school. Running the GPX 6000 once again today in and in search of a really big nugget. I'm running the coil on the si sides of these, I'll show you in a second, on the sides of these little uh, well, it's a bit of clay that I've come across and it runs off for quite a while so I'll just show you just running the detector all along this it's a fair way into the bush so I've had to have quite a bit of a hike but I'm gonna now go back and get my detecting gear and I'm gonna see if I can snag myself maybe a, a nugget here or two all right everyone so as you saw by the intro we're in this really cool area it's it was dug out by the chinese during the gold rush and as you can see they must have found quite a bit of gold here because a lot of effort went into it and well after doing just a bit up here and making my way down here i found my foot so as i was saying i've just come down here and you might not be able to hear this but I'll just run it over the detector and then I'll show you. Actually, I'll show you first. I'll just show you. You can see the little bit of gold in between the crevice of that sort of clay. And I'll put it on my finger. It's ever so thin, but I'm pretty happy that it's my first piece of the day. Thanks for watching the clip and see you in the next one. I ended up detecting that little bit for about another hour or two. And well, I ended up getting uh, two more incredibly small bits. So we got three from that one spot, which is okay, but now we're gonna move to another spot, which is, cl uh, which is closer to the Creswick Pines, and hopefully I can get a few more. All right, everyone, so this, this spot's been a little bit of a bust right now. I've detected the main gully from the road down and haven't really gotten anything. As you can see, it's pretty compact in here. And, well, I've, I don't know how, but this is so tiny but I found it, so I'll give you a little listen, if you can hear it. I'm not even gonna bother putting it on my finger at this point. It's right there. So yeah, that's, that's, that's all right. So let's hope there's some more to come on the way back to the road. All right, everyone, so I'm back in the trenches once again. And there's a bit of interference, so I'll try and do this without it being too annoying, but um, I'm a little bit excited. I've been working on this target for maybe five or ten minutes. Just, this is the third spot, by the way, for the day. So the reason why I'm digging this is because, well, it's a big, big trench. And my theory is that the old timers dug this out primarily because of the fact that they would have gotten a decent sum of, summary of gold here. So I'm just working the little banks here. And well, while I think it's junk, I hope it's going to be gold. That might be... I'll, I'll give you all a little listen to it. roots I'll, I do like the I'll just explain uh, real quick that I like the sort of clays that it's in but I'm also kind of worried that because this slope goes up, it might uh, be one of the old timers bits of junk that were, that's fallen down into here and it's just all collapsed over it over time. But I'll get the tree roots out and we'll see.
right, uh, a bit of an unexpected event that's happened, but I was hacking away, and as you can see, I was about to go for the swing at that area once more, when, check this out. I don't know if you can see that. That actually, that doesn't look too bad. Hang on, I'll get it out real quick. That, it's a ripper. That might be one and a half, one, one and a half grams. That's pretty good. Oh, yes. Oh. I, I, all I did was I just, we were just hard because we had a like an hour or two more to kill and we just we were just walking a bit in the bush here and saw this went back to the car got the detector and bang holy this is hang on I'll clean it once more it's a ripper Come on! Big, 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 big thumbs up. And let's hope I can maybe snag myself one more around here. All right, everyone, so that concludes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I thought I'd do something a little bit different today and show off all the junk that I found, which, uh, disclaimer, is a lot. So if you have a look, there's a few hot rocks here which I'm gonna have to bust open. That's a bit of quartz, which I, Thing's got a bit of what's it called a uh, gold in it bit of a rust bar i don't know what that is nails i don't know what that is oh shotgun shell what looks to be a ring but leave in the comments if you know what that is that <laughs> off a big um lighter some rust nuggets and that and of course you can't forget the infamous lead shot and then bullets but with all that comes some positives. We managed to get, I've divided them, we managed to get four off camera and two on. And of course, in here, we got the beast. Now, Dad, what do you think the weight of this is gonna be? I think about four and a half, five grams. Four and a half, I reckon two and a half, three. All right, I'm gonna weigh them up now and we'll see. Zero point six five. That's pretty good. And now time for this. Do you want me to zero it or not? Is Dad's prediction is zero point four, was it? Uh, four point five grams. Dad's prediction's four point five grams for this. And while it is kind of thin, it is big. So I reckon two point five. Let's see. 6.1 grams. Oh, that is a monster nugget. Hang on, I'll just redo it again. Yep, 6.1. Come on. That's a beauty. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And just drop, drop a comment down below if you have any video suggestions and if you want to see something on the channel. And I will see you all in the next one.